Hey YouTube, Opinionated Review here and in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 5.0 beta. Now if you want to downgrade to 4, iOS 4.3.3 you can do that without any problem straight through iTunes because iOS 4.3 is still the official update so you wouldn't have any problems restoring to iOS 4.3.3. Now if you want to go below that I'm going to show you how to do it in this video using the iFaint method. If you backed up your SHSH blob with iFaint. If you want to do it with any, with, uh, any other method, you have to um, search YouTube. There's other downgrade methods. If you use iFaint to save your SHSH blob, I'll show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you this way. So right now my, I, my uh, iDevice is in recovery mode because I don't have iTunes 10.5 on this. So I just put it in recovery mode because iTunes couldn't re recognize it. So it's in recovery mode. I'm going to just go and click restore. And restore an update. And it's going to restore my iPhone back to 4.3.3. Because that's still the official update. It's as simple as that. And I'm going to come back when this is finished and show you guys that it restored to 4.3.3. Now that we're back, iTunes already restored the phone and you can see it's on iOS 4.3.3. I did not have any errors or any problems. You can also use a, a custom IPSW that has been created in Snowbreeze and I jailbreak and restore one time. You will not have any errors. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this with I think if you are if you are trying to downgrade lower than iOS 4.3.3 now for this I think method you're gonna need a couple things you're gonna need I think and you can only do this method if you backed up your SH SH blobs using I think now you're gonna need I think you're gonna need that the custom IPSW of the firmware that you wanna downgrade to so if you wanna downgrade to 4. Zero, you're gonna need that IPSW firmware if you want to do it for 4.2. Same thing, I have my custom IPSW firmware for 4.3.3 because that's what I'm gonna be using. So now let's get into it. You're gonna right click I think, click properties, compatibility, click run this com program in compatibility mode for Windows XP. You're gonna pick Windows XP Service Pack 2 check run this program as an administrator click apply and then click OK so you can see that. click apply and then click OK now you're gonna run I think yes click OK now if you backed up your SH SH blobs using I think they should be on the server and you can look for them as you see mine is right here if you don't know where it is on your computer then you just download the catchy from the server you click download and put it where you can find it preferably the desktop now I'm gonna go back out and we're gonna build signed IPSW with blobs so you're gonna click that you're gonna browse for the catchy I know where mine is so I'm gonna find mine this is it right here and now I'm gonna go and I'm, I have to look for the custom IPSW firmware. That's what I was just talking about. So now I'm, I'm gonna have a link, everything in the description. Just check it. So now we're gonna see mine is right here. I put touch 4 Gen 4.3.3 restore. I'm gonna click that, and it's gonna see if both if they both are compatible. If you selected the right thing. Yes, after it checks that, you're going to just go and click build IPSW firmware. Click. And now, I think it's going to work its magic. I'm going to come back after I think is finished. So now that I think is finished building the IPSW, you're going to go and you're going to click proceed. You got to get ready to put your iDevice into a, a DFU mode so it can be put into a pwn DFU mode by I think. So what you're gonna do is hold the sleep button for three seconds, then hold both the sleep button and the home button for ten seconds, then release the sleep button and keep on holding the home button until I think recognizes your iDevice. 
So let's go. We're going to click proceed. And we're going to go power. Make sure you power off your iDevice. So we're going to click start. Let's go one, two, three. The whole boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then release. The sleep button and hold this until hold the home button until iPhone recognize your iDevice. There you go, iPhone has recognized my iDevice, so I'm gonna release. Nothing is gonna happen, it's just gonna be a black screen, you're not gonna see anything. So after you're done, you can just X out, close out iFate and open up iTunes. And you're gonna just go and we're gonna click shift restore. You're gonna look for the I, the IPSW that I think just created. It's not. It's gonna be on your desktop. So this is my right here. I think iPod Touch 4 4.3.3 signed. So I'm gonna click that, and I'm gonna go and let iTunes work its magic. And I'm gonna come back when iTunes is finished. My iDevice is now restored. I'm gonna go in and show you guys that. It is now on iOS 4.3.3. And there you can see it is on iOS 4.3.3. It restored without any problem, no errors. Hope you guys have as easy of a time as I did. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.